Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome to Hysteria Pier. This is our brand new mini build series that we are uh, kicking off today um, to launch and celebrate the launch of the Vintage Pack DLC that was released a couple of days ago here in Planet Coaster. Now this pack lends itself to a pier um, and a carnival style build so well uh, and yes, I know I can put a pier in Hysteria Valley, which we are going to do soon. I wanted to put in, uh, I wanted to do a new build just to show off a lot of the new pieces. Now, when I first planned to do this build, I was just going to do the pier and that was going to be it. Uh, when I got down to it today, I thought, no, I'll tell you what, let's do something a little bit different. So, you'll see me flicking back and forth between the scenario editor and the... Uh, uh, the actual sandbox here, so just bear with me, I'll explain everything I'm doing in a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've expanded my plan now to not just the pier itself, but I'm also going to create an entire promenade. So think Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, sorry, Blackpool Promenade or a seafront somewhere in the nearest uh, seaside town near you. It's going to be very British, very vintage, um, but it's also going to be modern as well. So what I mean by that is it imagine it is built in the sort of time period where these kind of piers were so we're talking i don't know the 40s 50s 60s um however it, this build is set today in the modern era so the um basis is there the pier was built many many years ago uh, but a lot of modern technology has come along um and the whole area has sort of had a boom in tourism so there is now uh, a lot of uh, modern features and uh, uh, modern rides, attractions, shops and that, that kind of thing have been brought into the area but it's still retaining the vintage style. That's what I'm going for. So like I said I've been doing a lot of research on promenades, um, I've, I've been to quite a lot of seaside towns around the UK and a couple I suppose you could say abroad um, but they're not exactly the same kind of style. Um, so I've got quite a lot of uh, knowledge and, and sort of stuff floating around in my brain of how I want it to look um, but generally what we what we do today is is start on the promenade so I put in the road the, the main pathway which is going to sort of lead across the entire front of the, uh, the, the sea and the beach that we are creating um, obviously I can't do a full beach sea kind of scenario so we don't have that uh, biome in the game but I'm doing my best with what I've got <laughs> so you'll see as we get along it, it's um, it's a bit bodged but I mean you can sort of generally see what I'm doing so just here now I'm, I'm outlining the the rough path this is going to be the main um, sidewalk uh, pedestrian pathway of the promenade um, what I'm doing here is just testing a few bits with buildings uh, I'm using quite a lot of blueprints um, and sort of main street buildings, just general stuff that's uh, that I already had lying around in my blueprints and stuff that I've downloaded in the past. So if you see any of your creations up here, thank you ever so much. <laughs> um, I'm not claiming them as my own by any means. I am literally just plonking down some random buildings. This is going to make the backdrop to the build. Um, so the promenade itself in terms of the buildings, like I said, I'm just putting down here, is just a backdrop. I just wanted it there to have a reason and a purpose um, for this pier. Um, also what you'll see here is I use this building to cover up the actual entrance point of the uh, the map to give it a little bit of realism so you actually are going to enter through this gift shop. Um, what, when I say realism I mean I didn't want there to be a specific park entrance in this build because it's a pier, it's a promenade, it's a beachfront, There's, there wouldn't be a, a specific entrance. So that's why I'm hiding it away within this gift shop. So naturally, guests are going to just, well, people are just going to naturally appear from, uh, I'm going to add a couple more points as well, uh, just appear from different points on the map. So it'll, it'll just seem a lot more organic uh, and a bit more like a town, like a village. And that's the general idea what I'm going for. Uh, with this. So like I said, I'm plonking down quite a few buildings. Um, I'm putting pathways up to each doorway uh, and certain buildings will have a random shop or toilet or some kind of facility inside. Again, just to get people moving around, uh, going in and out of the shop ways, just make it look like a real building, a real promenade. Um, the main focus of this build isn't this promenade. Uh, let me make that very clear just now. That's why I'm using blueprints and very quickly just putting it down. Um, however, it's going to be 
probably one or two episodes just on the promenade because I want it to look really nice. Uh, I want there to be, I want it to be very realistic and very usable, uh, and I, I do make a, a good start on that in this episode. So as we move through, you'll see that I put in the actual road as well. We start getting down some road markings, some um, some painted lines on the road to give it a bit of distinction. We throw a few cars in. Um, towards the end, I also create a car park on the seafront, um, as these kind of little village towns would have that, like a little beachfront car park. Um, so you can just park up, jump on the beach, pop in the uh, pop on the pier, go in the arcade, and that kind of thing. So here I had a little bit of a play around with the path and, and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, but generally I made the road pretty close to the main pathway. And then you'll see that I put in some little uh, pedestrian crossing points down the prom. Which again, I, I believe is quite realistic to what you would see. Um, obviously it's not realistic in terms of like the the lines on the road are exactly how they would be in the UK and, and the signage is a little bit of a mix between the US and the UK so it's all a bit muddled but it's as realistic in terms of the actual build and, and being usable so this is where I was just sort of playing around with some lines to try and make it uh, try and figure out what I want to do with the crossings and in the end I just put them down like this and I was uh, I actually utilized the new um, feature which is the scenery uh, grouping tool. I didn't think I'd use it. I thought I'm not used to playing without it, but it does actually make things a lot easier. So um, you'll see throughout this video, I have used it quite a bit. Um, so let's talk more about the plan for the actual pier then. Now, I briefly mentioned uh, if you've seen the introduction video that I, I released yesterday, uh, I sort of talk about the plan of this area and, and the reason why I've done this. So, Hysteria Pier is run by the same company that operates Hysteria Valley, the other theme park brought in here on the channel. That's the link between the two builds. So I, I did put a little map up. I'll, I'll pop it up now as well on the screen just so you can see. Um, but this map that I developed is basically um, just showing that Hysteria Valley is like a 10 minute drive away from this beachfront. And this pier is also here operated by the same thing so you're going to see a bit of crossover with the name there'll be some adverts for the theme park within the pier and uh, there'll be very similar looking uh, signage and, and that kind of thing so there they are going to be ties together but I just didn't want to build it on the same map that was my main thing I wanted to do it separate but keep it in the universe of hysteria <laughs> which is what I've sort of building here in the game um, so yeah that was generally the idea with that one really so that was why I put out that video yesterday, just to kind of explain that um, and just sort of uh, briefly explain the, the new method of videos as well. So this is going to be a complete build video today where we're looking at this time lapse. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of like, uh, photos that I've put up randomly uh, of research and stuff that I've done. And then there'll be another video um, up uh, pretty much straight after this one, which will be a guest perspective look around what we've built today and a little bit closer look at some of the stuff that I've done. So here I'm just building very t uh, very quickly just putting a few little realistic bits in uh, just to get the start going with this. So I'm just putting in some drainage uh, and some grates around the side of the, the path again to test how they look and this is more that we'll expand on as we get through this promenade. Um, so I do come back to that. Uh, well, I will come back to that, I should say, at another time to add them. Uh, these curbs, I thought I'd pop in again, add a little bit of realism. I know you're probably thinking, all oh, this is a bit pointless, uh, and this is this whole series is about the pier. It's called Hysteria Pier, and we haven't built a pier yet, and I, I know, I understand, so sorry, but I wanted to make, I wanted to make it as good as I can, uh, and I had to start with the prom. It, it would have made no sense to have done it the other way around. Um, so... The pier will come, don't worry, <laughs> I will be building it, uh, but I do, use, I do use some of the new stuff in this episode, so I don't think it's all just going to be building a road and a car park. Um, I start putting in a few test bits uh, towards the end, like uh, some new flower beds and things up, up on the promenade between the road and the path, uh, again just to test how it looks. Um, so there are a few bits in this video where, like I said, you will see some new stuff. Uh, most of it is going to happen when we start building the pier. Um, I have already started doing a little bit of a search on the pier. I'm thinking stylized, I want to do it very similar to um, the, 
kind of peers you get in Blackpool. And I know I keep mentioning Blackpool, but it's where I know the most. I went there a hell of a lot when I was a kid, and I still go pretty much once a year now, if not more. So it's what I know the best, and I just like that kind of tacky style that it, when it was built, it was probably a very grand pier. Probably spent a lot of time, work, effort on it, and people probably saw it as quite glamorous. And then over the years, it's just become seedy. It, it, random bits of theming have been added. Um, it's just become a lot more crap, basically. Uh, and that's what I kind of want to do. And like I said I want to make it so the actual structure of the pier is quite realistic to the time period where it would have been built. Um, but what is on the pier now has been adapted over the years um, to a modern audience. Because, I mean... Again, I'm going to use Blackpool as a prime example. They have three piers in Blackpool: the North, Central, and South Pier. South Pier is very mu- uh, it's pretty much opposite uh, the Pleasure Beach amusement park, and that that pier is pretty much just full of arcades and amusement rides. Um, as you go up to the Central Pier, again, it's a uh, they've sort of like a big Ferris wheel on there, a few more uh, amusement rides and uh, arcade uh, and that kind of stuff so they're very similar the central and the, and the south then the further north you move up the prom and you get to the north pier that's very much a traditional pier where you've pretty much just got the long walk out there i, th- I believe there's a bar at the end a couple of shops on there um, but as far as i'm aware there's no rides or attractions or anything on that one so you've got that stark contrast just sort of in a mile between the two piers uh, well, the three piers on uh, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, uh, Blackpool Promenade. So, just using that inspiration there alone, you can see that the, you've still got that classic vintage style at one end, and then the sort of modern theme park style at the other end. So, this sort of stuff does exist, and it is it exists in our world now. So, that's the kind of stuff that I'm going for in this build. Um, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm classing it as a sort of mini build. It's not going to go on and on for months. It's going to be probably, I don't know, five to ten episodes. I'm thinking maybe two or three maximum on the promenade to get that finished. Um, one or two on the actual building of the pier itself, so the structural side of things, and then we'll get cracking with the rest of it. We're putting on the attractions. Uh, and the arcades and the shops and all that kind of stuff and and then make it as tacky as possible <laughs> and that's the plan I mean that they are pretty tacky I mean you go on a pier in the UK and you've got people as you're walking up the pier you'll have people shouting at you to play the midway games um, you've got like people trying to sell ride tokens to you you will have loud music and cheap shops selling tat they are tacky <laughs> they really are tacky and I want to kind of incorporate as much tack as I can into this recreation slash build. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Um, so what I'm doing here, again, like I said um, earlier on, I am just putting in uh, a beachfront car park. Um, it's very bare at the moment, this top end, but obviously it will fill out as we get more um, into the promenade itself. Uh, I'm just putting a few cars in the, in here just to give you a general look of how the, um, the actual car park will be. Again, it's very boring, it's car park. I'm not going to go on for ages about it. Um, but I'm putting a few little bits in here uh, to give it a bit extra detail, like these uh, chevron areas where there is a pathway onto the beach. So this is where you can park up, go through the fence, and pretty much head straight out onto the beach. Um, obviously, I haven't got a sandy texture on this biome, which was my bad when I first started building it. But this it kind of looks like sand. It does the job from a distance. Uh, I'm not building anything on a beach in this build. So other than just the foundations being there uh, and more of a backdrop. That, I mean, that's generally why I'm building this promenade is so there is a backdrop to the pier once we start building that. Uh, and just to make, make it make sense, <laughs> if, that, if, if you can understand why I'm, why I'm going for. Um, so I do want some ideas anyway from you guys. If you do have um, any ideas for how I can improve the promenade, anything, any certain aspects of the pier that you want me to put in, let me know. Um, so do comment and get involved in the build and I really would like to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, and this part of the video now, like I said, I'm just testing out a couple of things um, which are some of the new stuff from the uh, recent updates. So I'm trying one of these new planters. Uh, in this little section between the road and the path 
Uh, I fill it with some random stuff just just as a test to see how it looks, and it, it turns out quite well to be honest. Uh, and I'll go into more detail on that when we in the next video when we do the ex uh, the experience. So real time, we'll jump in and I'll show you that. Um, I'll explain a little bit more. Um, so that is about it for today's episode, guys. So we are just cracking on with the uh, promenade. Uh, like I said, we'll get the aim to get this finished in the next episode and then get started on the actual pier itself. Um, so that's a quick overview of what I'm planning um, with a little bit of in-depth look at sort of the, the mindset behind it and my sort of experience in this kind of thing, which is just going on piers and going to Blackpool a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, as always, give us a like down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to stay up to date with all this content. Um, and if, like I said before, if you've got any questions, comments, queries or suggestions for anything, drop them down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be very much looking forward to hearing what you guys think of this new build. So as I mentioned, this is the build series just here. The, these episodes are just going to be the time lapses, me rambling on about what I'm doing. And then there'll be another video out very soon today, which will be a, a real time look at what we've built in this build episode. So that's generally how it's going to work over this series. There'll be two videos every single day, one doing the build and one looking at it in a little bit more detail. So I'll see you in the experience video where we look around what we've done. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.